Hi everyone, my name is Kabir Bhakta. Uh, me and my teammate, Mr. Bautik Sujitra, we have created an application, web-based application on file storage or file sharing. Um, we all know there is a lot of um, softwares and application available online where you can um, share or upload files, but the only concern in all those files might be of security. Like you don't know, like if your file that you uploaded is the same as that you uploaded, right? What I mean is like, did someone change? Did someone delete? Is it even there? X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. There should be many security reasons on that. Because of that, we have brought in um, a feature or like uh, to enhance the security, we try to put a blockchain based file storage what does it mean is like as soon as you upload a file that file gets stored in a form of a block into a blockchain and we all know the properties of blockchain like no one can edit or no one can update or delete the block slash file if anyone tries to do that the entire blockchain gets messed up which is a great security feature that it has so i'll explain you um how to run this application shortly but before that i would like you to go to our read me it is very detailed about how to run the application what we are working on importance of the blockchain proof of work algorithm constant comparison of proof of work algorithm so we are using two different proof of work algorithm one is with random known ends and the other one is with incremental known ends uh, we have put the report of what's the time taken and different attempts uh, we also have like we also have explained why the why each of the proof of work algorithm is better and in which condition we have concerned we have taken care of the security about our application uh, also like we have compared on chain and off chain uh, protocols on it um, so let's get right to it how to run an application so first thing you would like to do is to um, copy the link of the github then you go to your um, you go to you go to your command line and then you try to do git clone and then paste the link that you just copied enter and it will take a second and it will basically create a local copy of the same repository once you're here um you go to that particular repository that you just cloned here i'm just using to console i'll explain you why uh, you'll get to know why later um once you're here first thing you need to do is like not all computers have same Python libraries installed. So to make it easier, I have created um, I have created a requirement.txt file, um, which will automatically install all the necessary libraries that you need. So you basically need to do pip install slash r requirements.txt and hit enter. Once you do that, all the requirement required libraries are installed. These are all really installed in my computer so it all shows requirement already satisfied okay let's start with the first step let's start our server or peer who does the heavy lifting like it takes care of everything like all the peers who are connected all the requests that are coming in everything like blockchain everything consensus and on the other console we'll run our client or an application um of one instance of an application so you do python so peer.py is basically our main server or the peer um, who does the backlifting heavy lifting and then the run dot run underscore app dot pi will have all the like it will run an instance of an application once you hit enter you can see the link over there you can copy paste it into a local browser or you can just do like as the hint says control plus click as soon as you do that there's a folder that like there's a file that opens up like this i will explain you quickly what here it says there's an upload a file section where you can put your username and you can choose a file from your local computer which you want to upload you hit upload after you hit upload there's a request mine because once you hit upload it doesn't mean that it directly goes into the block you need to mine the block so what it basically does is um after you upload you have to hit request to mine and it will mine the block and append it to the blockchain once you do that in the uploaded files it will show your or uh, show the username and the file so let's get into it let's say kabir wants to upload a file one.iml 
Um, again, our application will accept any file type of any size. So we'll just do a different file types and different sizes. One not IML upload. Right. Once you request to mine, it will show you. Okay, the block first has mined successfully. Now, um, one thing I want to make sure you get it is as soon as you mine a block, you can see the chain length increase. So chain length is basically our block chain length. It's right now it's on one. So basically because I I mined a block which is one. So that's why it goes one. Um, now let's say Orthic wants to upload two dot pi upload request to mine. And then once you come back to the home page, if you want to see your mind block on the uploaded files, you just need to refresh this page. And there you go. Both of has uploaded this file. So let's say Bob wants to upload 3.pdf. Upload, request to mine, and then refresh this page. Awesome. Um, and the last one, uh, let's do two more. Alice wants to upload 4.png upload request to mine okay it's mine successfully uh, let's check okay wait uh, we'll do one more and then we'll check our chain length uh, let's say john john wants to upload 5. word document upload request to mine okay it's mine successfully refresh okay as you can see all my five documents are uploaded the order doesn't matter right now but um of course they are uploaded uh, and then let's see how what's the chain length it should be five okay there you go we see that our chain length is six correct it, should, it is correct because the six it, it says chain length six because it is it is ready to accept a new block because you remember that why it has six because our first block is a genesis block and then plus five so it makes it six Okay, let's try to download it now. Let's say I want to download 3.pdf, which was uploaded by Bob. So you hit download and you'll see a pop-up that, what do you want to do with three? I'll say save as, and then I'll upload it. As you can see, there is no PDF in my downloads folder. I'll save it there. Once I save it, I'll, up, I'll open the folder and then I open it here. Bam, there you go. Yep, so that's how you run our application. Now, let's say, for instance, you want to. Um, now we have created another. Uh, we have created another thing on this, uh, which is our comparison algorithm. So what this comparison algorithm will do is it will take care of two proof of work concepts, and then it will give you the results of the proof of work concept. To run that, what we can do is Python p o w comparison.py and then you hit enter and what it will basically do is compare like one two three four five there you go like all this is basically how much time it takes to mine each block um, now this one is of known ends um, where the known ends increments one by one and this one is known ends incremented randomly um, so basically at the once you let the program run, it will basically show you everything about it. So we have basically created different difficulty levels. So let's say difficulty two time requirement with random no, known ends is 0 0.00391. So basically it goes with iterative known ends and then proof of work with random known ends and proof of work with iterative known ends. So all these numbers are basically the time taken for it to uh, execute. Um, so yeah, this is the application that we have created. Um, everything, whatever you need is explained in detail, in depth in um, the readme.py um, and hopefully you like our project. Thank you.